Today we're going to do division with the stamp game and we get to use the long-awaited materials in the box that you've been wanting to use and that is the skittle. The skittle is very important and we use this for division. It's not the kind of skittle that you're used to seeing, is it? The kind of skittle of where you get the candy with the bright colors. This looks, what does this remind you of? It's more of what? It looks kind of like a bowling pin, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, the skittle was used in mid 17th century in Sweden and Denmark for a game that they devised that was very similar to bowling. And I have a picture to show you of some of the old time bowling pins that look more like our skittle there than the bowling pins that we use today. That's where we get the term skittle. The skittle represents the divisor in our problem. So I have a problem here, 2,114, that's our dividend, divided by seven, which is our divisor. So if the skittle represents our divisor, and I said our problem is 2,114 divided by seven, how many skittles will we be getting out? Right, we'll be getting out seven skittles. And we're going to get out seven green Skittles because the green represents the units. Anything up to nine. Okay, we have seven Skittles. Let's get out our dividend. And we're just gonna put that here, 2,000. 114. Let's review the rules we have about division as we go through this problem. What's one of the things we know about division that's different from all the other operations? Right, we always start with the highest hierarchy, not the units. So in this case, our highest hierarchy is thousands. What's something else we know about division? Right, it means to share equally. So whatever we give to one Skittle, we have to give to all Skittles. So we have two thousands. Are we gonna be able to share those equally? No, we can see that we can't, so we have to exchange. And 1,000 equals 10 hundredths. So let's get out 10 hundredths for the 1,000. Let's keep it separate from the one that's already there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. But we have to also exchange this thousand for ten hundreds. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, do we have enough hundreds now that we can ex share equally? Yes, we do. We have 21 hundreds. So let's share equally. So we give one to each Skittle, and we just keep sharing them until we run out or until we can't share equally anymore. And of course, the children will help distribute these. Okay, do we have any left? No, so we have all of our hundreds shared equally. So we go to the next hierarchy, which is 10, and we wanna share equally, but we only have one of them, so we can't. So what do we have to do with this 10? We have to exchange it for 10 units. Two, 
four, six, eight, ten. Now we have our ten and our four, so we have fourteen we can exchange. We can share equally. Do you think we have enough to put out two at a time? Maybe. Let's try it and see. Let's see. As long as we share equally, we can do that. All right. So what else have we learned about division? What about the answer? The answer is our quotient. What about this quotient? How do we find it? Right, the answer to a division problem is what one Skittle gets. It's, we've shared equally and the answer is what one Skittle gets. So let's, what Skittle would you like to choose? All right, let's choose this Skittle. What's our answer? 302. Right, there are no tens, are there? So our answer is 302. So we write 300, how many tens? Zero, so we do have to put a placeholder in there, zero and two units. 2,114 divided by seven equals 302.